the Sharkoon RGB slider. So yeah, this is a, a budget case. It's really cheap. I managed to get it for uh, about, I would say, uh, maybe fifty dollars. Didn't cost that much really. It has a tempered glass side panel. It comes with the two USB 3.0 connections. 14 mods of addressable RGB controller and uh, it supports uh, 33.5 graphics cards centimeters graphics cards uh, let's take a look on the side here yeah it's basically the same stuff when you turn it aside uh, <clears throat> let's uh, take a look see what it looks like so as soon as I took this, uh, opened the box here, uh, this case box right here, I saw that uh, they put the manual right on top. It's basically to show you how to install things into the case, like so. Yeah, it's all in Chinese, uh, German. Pretty sure there is a. English over there too, but I'm not too worried about that, I don't need that, but yeah, there it is, that's the case, and damn, if it doesn't look like an NZXT, like a mini NZXT ATX case, <laughs> kind of like shorter version of it, but yeah, that's basically it, and that's what it looks like in the front, front panel. Uh, this thing right here has a LED lights over there. It's basically RGB, and you have this button over here that changes the mods. You have a power button, two USB 3.0, uh, microphone jack, and headphones jack. Uh, USB 2. I don't know why they included that one. Totally a waste. And it comes with a fan inside. So you actually have four thumb screws that you open the side panel here and another two on the on the other side panel and yeah that's what it looks on the inside I think you have room to mount your SSD or a fan I think a small fan and yeah you can mount an SSD over here on the shroud uh, yeah, so like I said, you have room for three 120 millimeter fans or two 140 millimeters. Uh, on the top right here, you have an easily removable magnetic filter, which yeah can easily easily be removed. And uh, you have uh, another room for two 120 centimeter fans, or I think that's even. You can even fit like 140 millimeter here, and you have one fan included on the back. So yeah, it's 120 millimeter, and you have these uh, breakable <laughs> PCI covers. Uh, well, what do you expect? It's a budget case, so if it costs 50 dollars, you should expect this kind of thing. Uh, yeah, this is basically it. I mean. Yeah, so uh, let's open the back, see what's uh, over there. So yeah, you have all your cables here, some uh, RGB controller, I think. Yeah, for your fans too. No, it's just for RGB. Yeah, and you have your accessory box where the the HDD would go. And yeah, the shroud is really, really nice. I mean, for a budget case, it does look pretty thought out, you know. You have all your stuff, uh, a cut out for your 8 pin CP, uh, EPS connector, and uh, yeah, these are all the cables that's USB 2, HD audio, well, the front panel connectors over there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the USBs, I'm pretty sure, yeah, but they, they kind of like put it over there. Yeah, that's the USB 3.0 connector just hanging out. <laughs> Well, um, yeah, this is uh, basically it. I mean, there isn't anything else. Uh, I'm gonna be installing some hardware in there, like uh, 
I know maybe in a few hours or a few days when I have the time to do it and uh, I will let you guys uh, see what it looks like with some uh, yeah, some hardware installed you know some uh, PC parts how it looks like the final results and everything so yeah uh, check back soon so I've been quite busy building uh, uh, this hardware into the RGB slider, the case uh, I've been unboxing. Uh, so yeah, that's what it looks like with uh, hardware installed. This thing has uh, the i7-920 processor. And uh, the Be Quiet Pure, Pure Rock, I believe. Uh, six fans of the uh, Corsair ML120. They're pretty loud now. I have to configure them. An SSD uh, from Transcend, 240 gigs. And another uh, mechanical drive over there. So two and a half. I just had it from an older laptop, so I just shoved it in there. Uh, the graphics card is uh, a Sapphire Pulse uh, five. Uh, 5500 XT. It's a 4GB card. Uh, the memory is 24GB uh, of uh, Crucial DDR3 clocked at uh, 1333. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've uh, been able to configure everything. And it's running pretty good. Uh, this RGB slider is pretty nice. I mean, uh, I've connected uh, RGB thing over here. It uses the reset as W, so at first it didn't know it didn't work, so <laughs> I didn't know why it didn't work. And uh, because I connected the reset as W into the motherboard like you usually would, but uh, apparently it needs a reset as W, so it could use this button to the reset button to switch the RGB modes. So. I'm pretty sure that uh, anyone who would buy this uh, PC, yeah, I'm going to sell this computer by the way, but uh, yeah, anyone who would want to buy this PC would rather have an RGB mod controller instead of a uh, reset button. So that's pretty cool. You can just choose uh, between dozens of uh, RGB modes, as you can see. I had it configured uh, to. Uh, blue because the fans are blue so it's just to match it but whoever buys it can do whatever they want with it I don't care but uh, yeah that's pretty much been uh, this video about the, this case the RGB slider so it is a pretty nice case it's cheap the only thing I didn't like is they make you have this uh, breakable PCIe cover so I had a few of them lying around so I managed to swap them out. It's really, yeah, it's really too good. Oh, I didn't say the power supply is a 620 watts of that Corsair. Yeah, it's an old power supply that I had. Just something to go with this old uh, hardware. Since the 900, the, since the 920 is a first generation i7, so yeah. But yeah, this is uh, pretty much it. Uh, hope you like this video and uh, take care. See you in the next video.